hope you've had a blessed day today. I'd like to talk about Exodus chapter 13, verses 21 through 22. The Lord went before them by day in a pillar of cloud to lead them on their way, and by night in a pillar of fire to give them light, that they may go by day and by night. The pillar of cloud by day and the pillar of fire by night didn't depart from before the people. One of the greatest realities of God's presence is the way he guides us. Even in sin, God will still lead us. Even with our lack of faith, he still gives us amazing leadership. And now, through believing in the death and resurrection of Jesus, we have been filled with the presence of God himself. We've been given the gift of the Holy Spirit who is always present with us and in us. How amazing is it that we've been filled with the presence of God through the work of Jesus? Jesus made a way for us to know the will of God. How can we discover the leadership available to us through God's presence? First, we must acknowledge our need for his leadership and seek out his counsel. He can only guide, guide us if we choose to follow him. If you choose to go your own way, you will be outside the guidance of his presence. Acknowledge him. Acknowledge the reality of his presence in your life and in all the things you do. Trust, trust in his guidance rather than your own understanding and watch as he makes all your paths straight. Second, you have to believe that God will guide you when you ask for his leadership. Isaiah verse, chapter 58, verse 11 says, And the Lord will guide you continually and satisfy your desire in scorched places and make your bones strong. And you shall be like a watered garden, like a spring of water whose waters do not fail. This world is suffering. It's suffering from a lack of God's guidance. We live in a world always searching and striving for some sort of message of leadership. All around us, the blind lead the blind into greater darkness, always searching for what we have already found in God. God will guide you when you seek him for wisdom. He will lead you to the perfect will he has for you but you have to humble yourself before him and commit to following him. All you have to do is ask and follow the Holy Spirit's guidance. He will make his leadership clear if you stay behind him and listen. Last, you must follow his leadership to experience the fruit of his guiding presence. The contents of a gift remain useless unless it's opened. You have been given the most incredible gift of all. God's guiding presence in your life. But until you choose to follow the wisdom of God in your life, you can't experience an ounce of his value. Until you follow the wise guidance of the Holy Spirit, you can't experience the life God has in store for you. Persevere today in God's presence. Seek out his wisdom and his counsel. Lay the burden of leading your own life on his shoulders and allow the Holy Spirit to guide you into the life God has prepared for you. God bless you all.